Five, we're nearly a year and a half past the tornado that tore through the north and west sides of Amory. And the recovery is still ongoing with an update on this one particular project tonight. Let's go live to WTVA's Avery Hilliard in Amory to share what's coming back to the city. Yeah, Craig and Emily here along Highway 25 North is just an example of that recovery. And I'm going to step to the side because behind me is the new high school football stadium, which will hold its first game later this month. But as I pan the camera over next door to that stadium, there's nothing that you can see on your screen. It's just open space. It used to be where the National Guard Armory stood. Attention, attention. An emergency has been reported in the building. From right after the tornado. <laughs> to demolition seven months later, people have been waiting to see what will eventually return to this spot. And this week, we got a glimpse at what the National Guard's new home could look like. Mayor Corey Glenn posted these renderings of the new Amory National Guard Readiness Center. The project is in the ballpark of $20 million. He wrote the design and scope of the new facility should be locked in before year's end and ground could be broken at the site late next year. It's welcome news for a community that took a devastating blow in March of 2023. It's so good to see progress come back to Amory and everybody building back together and for our community to just come together during a very difficult time. And the football field in the back even brings it more joy to see that more progress is coming along for the town. It's great. It's good to see everything coming together and the community being stronger than ever. And there's another project here in Amory that's much farther along. So you have to make sure you come back to WTVA 9 News at 6 so I can tell you all about it. Live in Amory, Avery Hilliard, WTVA 9 News.